Hey everyone, your boy Marvin Four here with Great American Survival. I hope you're having a wonderful week. Today we're bringing you a special review of the Swiss Army Knife Tinker. Now this is personally one of my favorite EDC knives. It's one I've carried for a long time, for many years, and it's just a great knife. Stick with us, I'll tell you all about it. Hi everyone. So as you see today we will be reviewing my Swiss Army Knife Tinker. This is a classic Swiss Army Knife uh, EDC compact pocket knife. It features 11 different pocket tools. It is acid resistant plastic and aluminum or aluminum handles depending on which ones you get. It is 100% stainless steel components other than that and it features a blade can and bottle openers or blades it has more than one it has a can and bottle opener screwdriver wire stripper reamer tweezers toothpick and a key ring nice i have owned many of these and this one right here is actually a gift from my wife this year from christmas so i've really enjoyed it uh, my tinker like i state stated uh, it came in handy on christmas day i actually had received it and used it to open packages literally that morning. Um, right away I could see that things hadn't changed. It's still the classic traditional, you know, high quality standards that make Swiss Army a Swiss Army knife. And of course it always features the lifetime warranty. Very nice. First off, you'll notice the note in the traditional Swiss Army logo on the red scales which is the iconic look that we all come to know and love. All the tools are great. It's not a really big knife, but it's big enough. It fits the palm of my hand. You know, it's the width of my hand, so it's a good full-size knife. I like that because the blade, we'll start with the main blade. The main blade is two and a half inches long with a typical hollow grind and a drop point tip. Like most of the models, the main blade is non-locking. I would like to see Swiss Army um, maybe do a liner lock on the ones especially like this or ones with saws, things like that. It would just be nice. It'd be easy to do. It wouldn't be that hard, you would figure. But uh, remember, this isn't for bushcraft. So it's functional and does exactly what it's intended for and does its job very well. The steel is well well done. This one has never been sharpened by me. I use it quite often, and it's still very sharp. I mean, very sharp. Like earlier today, I cut my finger there. Bad. I mean, it just took a chunk out of my finger. It was hurt. You know those ones when you get right on the tip of your finger and it just hurts. Uh, the main blade is easy to open, and the markings on both sides of the blade are nice and crisp and sharp. Very well done. It's a good quality blade. It's what you come to expect from a knife like this. The handle is just the reinforced plastic. This one right here, they do offer quite a few with the like, some have metal blade, metal scales, some have the translucent plastic scales, lots of different options, a lot of details, just the normal stuff that we all come to know and love about Swiss Army. The one thing that I like about the Tinker as opposed to others is the screwdriver. It has a full-size Phillips screwdriver, which I work in a Ford dealership. I work on cars. So having one just in my pocket, I end up when people's cars total, I end up having to take license plates off, things like that. Having a Phillips screwdriver just comes in very handy. I like that one aspect, especially about this, that it is a full-size one. It's not one of the real short ones, so you don't have to turn it like this. You can actually bear down on it. It's actually a very nice, nice screwdriver. The next thing I will get to is, it's on the back side, we'll do the can opener. Well, this is the bottle opener. This is the bottle opener. The bottle opener will definitely get some use. It's a flat-headed screwdriver also, and that's been useful for me as it is. I also use it miscellaneously for random prying jobs. 
just picking things out, knocking emblems off people's you know cars before they go to paint. Little things like that just come in handy. It's very useful to poke, prod, twist, and you can always use it as a flathead. It also works for great for opening beer bottles or your favorite root beer. It also does have a um, stripper in there, which works really well. Next, we will flip it around and we will open the, show you the can opener. It's nice to be able to open cans in an emergency. And that's what these are about, making an emergency tool for your everyday carry. We keep these in just about all of our 10 essentials kits for our backpacking, our emergency bug out kits. All of them have a Swiss Army knife of some sort or another. This one really, um, it floats my boat because it's really an excellent, you know, blade. The blade doesn't work like the normal military one. It kind of goes forward instead of the other ones kind of work backwards. This one, you kind of just kind of work your way around it, pushing down, cutting like you're kind of chop, like you're kind of dicing. I guess it's a dicing action is a better way to describe it. Works really well. I use it more than anything because as you see, it's got a great little edge on it. Let's see if I can get it to zoom in on it. Nice edge. Works great for opening boxes and packages. I try not to use my blades for that when I have this because of what it's, that's really what it's good for. But it makes it where I don't wear out my blades on my knives doing something like cardboard and pla plastics or anything along those lines. Just works really well for that. Uh, the next we will show you is the small blade. The small blade is just like the large blade, only smaller. It is the same steel, the same tip, and the same grind. This is an amazing little blade. It works great for, uh, I use it more for wood carving. The wood carving comes in very handy. You can also use it to strip wire. Um, you can use it for just about anything you want. I've never used that mine as a wire stripper, but it's still capable of it. So I will say that, but it's just a nice blade. I like it when I'm doing smaller tasks, just because you can really choke up on it, really get a good bear on it and control it. But be careful, it will fold up on you because that's not what it's intended for. Next, we will flip it around, and that is the auger. The auger is on the back side of the, of the knife, right next to the Phillips screw. You can, uh, actually, you can actually deploy them both at the same time, but there's no real need. You couldn't use them both at the same time, but they're very nice to have. I can honestly say that up until last year, I, when I really started whittling and carving, I never really used this, but it's great for punching holes in things. Um, last year we were at summer camp, we did a craft where we took some 22 shells and made some bling for some scout, um, our scout guides, and just use this to punch the hole in the back so we can run some paracord through it. Worked great for that. It's just very handy. Great for punching holes in things. Does have the awl, does have the needle eye so you can punch through if you're sewing. Very good. Very, very useful thing to have, and it's very sharp. I've used mine a lot for first aid because if you get a splinter, this thing's like the tightest tip. The other small blade doesn't really get this sharp or this much of a point like this does. Works great for digging out splinters. I've used it quite a few times for that. Of course, it's the next thing are the things that we kind of take for granted. Swiss Army Knife has always had tweezers. Now, don't get me wrong, it's hard to call you know this as a tool, but it is very useful. It's better to have one and not need it than need it and not have it. Because when you get a splinter, you know, just having one in there and being able to get down in there and really dig that thing out by using something you had on your knife anyways is just awesome. Me personally, I wish it were a little more rugged, a little more dense, a little thicker metal is all you'd really have to do. But I like the fact that they do come with all of them. And just like all of them, we lose them. So you can, I found them on Amazon in little six packs, those and the toothpick. That will be our next item we will be showing you. The toothpick, even though it's not really rigid enough to be as a toothpick, will help you get stuff out of your teeth. If you've ever at the movies and want to get a piece of popcorn out of your teeth, this works perfect for that. You can buy replacement uh, toothpicks for those of you that lose them. 
I've lost mine many a times, but falls into the category. Better to have it, not need it, than need it, not have it. The key ring is very useful. When I got mine, mine came with this little Swiss Army knife sharpener. So I keep it. There's the little key ring. Goes on there, attaches to that, and I also keep one of my little Olight i3E flashlights on there. Just about every one of our... Um, just about every one of our 10 Essentials kits in all of our backpacks and everything all have this little setup. Have a knife sharpener of some sort, flashlight, and our Swiss Army knife. Uh, the Tinker is a reputation of being a great EDC knife. It is exactly that. It is very useful, has a lot of purposes. It's a lot smaller than carrying, say, a Leatherman or a Gerber multi-tool with you at all times. If it had a pair of pliers built into it, I would say it was only be a perfect multi-tool, but it would also be a lot bigger. But the Tinker is great for every day. The Tinker is great for most of the tasks you're gonna have around your house, your shop, your office. I still carry a locking blade knife with me a lot of the times, but most of the time, the size of this just falls in your pocket, you forget it's in there, and it's just very useful. The Tinker is a great knife it fills in the missing links in your gear and it just makes it where when you're going somewhere you've got a great knife and it's very reliable to do the things that you need with that being said that concludes our video i hope you guys like this video if you have a personal favorite swiss army knife i'd love for you to put it in the comments down below we'd love to hear from you and know what you guys think if you guys like this video and look forward to more please make sure you subscribe I'll definitely do quite a few more of these. I own quite a few more Swiss Army knives, and they all have different aspects that make them valuable. Ooh, this right here is the Swiss Army knife book. It has outdoor projects. It's from by Felix. Uh, I guess it's Immler. I don't know. He's incredible. Great book. If you don't own one, pick one up. Also, before I forget to mention, this was one of my favorite handkerchiefs. This one is from Stool Pigeons. It's just awesome. He does great work. Their products are incredible. Great handkerchief, great thing to keep around. And guys, remember, your gear can save your life one day. So make sure you get out there, enjoy yourself, enjoy nature, be prepared, stay safe. God bless, guys. We'll see you soon.